Why do frogs croak? We know why many animals, like cats, dogs, and horses, make sounds. They express different feelings pleasure or fear, hunger or aggression. Maybe frogs squawk for the same reasons. In the evenings they give real concerts. People however, do not particularly like to listen to them, preferring the singing of nightingales. But frogs don't know about it and croak from the heart. It turns out that only males give frog concerts. Female frogs are real mute frogs, they never croak, and can only squeak, or make a sort of grunting noise if they get wounded. But males squawk trying to outshout each other, just to attract the attention of their silent mates. They especially try during the mating period though, unlike some other animals and birds that keep silent for a long time after the mating period, male frogs keep croaking even afterwards. So how do they make these guttural sounds? A frog draws air in through its nostrils, then closes its nostrils and mouth to keep the air out, and begins to drive it back and forth from its mouth to its lungs and back again. The air constantly passes through the frog's vocal cords and makes them vibrate. In addition, some frog species have special devices like resonators, resembling pouches connected to the oral cavity. The frog inhales air, it enters the resonator, which immediately inflates. Chasing the air, the frog makes the walls of the resonators shake as well. That is why its voice becomes so guttural. And different frogs have different sizes of resonators, too. It depends on the frog species and its size. Resonator size affects a frog's voice, so, as you've obviously noticed, all frogs have different voices. You may ask, how does a frog breathe if it only uses air to sing? It turns out that the amount of air that the frog breathes in is enough for it to both sing and breathe. And the frog breathes differently than other animals. When it draws in air through its nostrils, its throat is lowered. When the frog's nostrils close, its throat rises, and so the air is pushed into its lungs. The frog not only breathes, but also eats in a very special way. Strange as it may seem, its eyes help it to do this. The frog catches its prey with its long sticky tongue, with its eyes open. But as soon as the insect sticks to its tongue, the frog pulls it into its mouth and closes its eyes. One might think, of course, that she does this out of pleasure. But it is not. The fact is that the frog's mouth is separated from its eyes by a very thin film. When the frog's eyes are closed, they drop down inside and help it push food down its throat. This is such an unusual animal, and very useful. Frogs hunt for harmful insects and eat them in large quantities.